Now to a News 4 exclusive. It was a bloody night in Times Square. This is new video here just into the newsroom. that shows a teenager getting beaten by several people, and you can see a crowd violently attacking that young person. Police say the 17-year-old was stabbed and then taken to the hospital, and then just a short time later, a separate attack in Times Square, a 28-year-old man attacked by several people, too. News 4's Mark Santia live with more of that exclusive video, and also, Mark, what we're hearing now about how many people have been taken into custody for this. Yeah, Adam, but let's start off with that teenager who was injured. The teenager was taken to the hospital. Police tell me he is expected to survive. At this point, police have not said what may have started this fight, but a warning. The video you're about to see may be disturbing. This is video obtained by News 4 showing the violent attack as the 17-year-old is grabbed around the neck and thrown to the ground. He tries to get up, but several people swarm. He's kicked in the head back down to the street. The person in the yellow vest then hits the victim with an object. He then hides it away. As the teenager stands up, he's immediately surrounded by more attackers and pummeled by punches as people walk by around 5.30 yesterday afternoon in the crossroads of the world. As the victim again falls down into the bus lane on West 42nd Street, he's swarmed, police say, by more than 20 attackers who kick and punch and stomp the teenager. This is video showing people running away from the violence. Police say they've arrested seven people, six reside in migrant housing, and officers are currently looking for 16 more. And I saw the other guy coming with the blood coming from the back, from everywhere. And also last night, a couple hours later, a 28-year-old victim was beaten by a group of people near the Hard Rock Cafe by Broadway and 43rd Street. Police say the victim exchanged words with a group who then kicked and punched the man. He was taken to the hospital. Police arrested three people in this case. The investigation is still ongoing, but Adam, at this point, police believe the two attacks are not related. We are seeing a police presence here at Times Square. Again, as this investigation continues, they're also reaching out to the community looking for any information as they continue their search for more than 10 suspects. We're live in Times Square. Mark Santia, News for New York. It's also investigating after they say a man was killed on the D train this morning. All right, the attack happening just before 5 a.m. as the train was pulling into the 182nd Street stop in the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx. Fox A's Richard G. Kovitz joins us live from the scene with the very latest. Richard? Natasha, Steve, the MTA president, says it was thanks to those surveillance cameras that allowed them to see exactly what unfolded on board that D train. What they do know is who they are looking for tonight. But what they don't know is the 45-year-old who was attacked. Was he stabbed? Was he shot? And why was he a target? These are the three suspects wanted in that fatal attack early this morning on a Bronx subway train. Two men and one woman who police say either shot or stabbed a 45-year-old man killing him. I just see what's happening in my neighborhood. Been here 20 years. And when I was 15, I was in this neighborhood in the crack epidemic, and it wasn't even this bad. The D train is once again running at the 182nd and 183rd Street subway station in Fordham Heights as police officers stood on the southbound platform for the evening commute home. 12 hours earlier, just before 5 a.m., cops say the suspects boarded the train at the Fordham Road station. One of the men is seen on video, say police, sitting down and talking to the soon-to-be victim. Once the train approaches the 182nd Street stop, they begin arguing. Words are exchanged. They both stand up. And then the words turn physical, and they start physically fighting each other. As they're physically fighting each other, the two others, the female and the male that, that entered the train at Fordham Road, they joined the fight. Then the train pulls into the station. The suspects run off. The victim was found unconscious and taken to St. Barnabas Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. NYPD Transit Chief Michael Kemper says even though this appears to be an isolated incident, this is the second deadly incident in the transit system in 11 days. On February 12th, one person was killed and five others were wounded in a shooting at the Mount Eden Station. Our cops are out there. They're visible. Our riders, I know you, you, they see them, they're riding trains, they're on platforms. MTA President Jano Lieber insists that with overall crime down this month compared to the same time last year, the subway is safe to ride. Today we're not going to tell New Yorkers, don't be concerned when there's a shooting. But overall crime, the, the trajectory is crime is down versus last year in the month of February. It's very dangerous. Like, we don't say, it's not safe anymore in the world. 
The medical examiner will determine the type of wound and the official cause of death. Police tell us they expect to find those two men and that one woman, the suspects, linked to this attack. If you have any information, if you saw anything, call Crime Stoppers, 800-577-TIPS. We're live in the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx. Richard Giacobbis, Fox 5 News. Thanks, Richard. Well